I ain't gonna must not to y'all, bro. As much as we love the C701, the dark side of the C701 is like General Motors dropped the ball on the C701, bro. And I'm gonna explain why. Now, 2014 was the beginning of the C7 Corvettes. And 2014, we got the Stingray. 2015, we got the Z06. We didn't get the Z01 until the last and final production year, which is 2019. And this didn't come out to like the middle of 2019. December 2019 was pretty much the end of the C7s. Because following the next year, we got the C8 Corvettes. So, this car here didn't have a chance to grow. It didn't have a chance to do anything. The LT5, it was a waste. The C701 was supposed to come right behind the Z06. If you look at the C6 Corvettes, we got the Z06 in 2006. The Z01 came in 2009. If you look at the C8s, the Stingrays came in 2020. The Z06 came in 23. And right now, they're working on the Z01 and the Zora. But the C7 is stretched out. 14 to 15, we got the Stingray and the Z06. And they gave us this in 2019 at the very last. I guess this was supposed to be the last call. They tried to pull the Dodge, but the Z01 was a flop, bro. The Z01 should have came out as a 2016 and 17 model. They would have gave the Z01 a two to three year run to dominate. The Z06 dominated from 2015 to 2019. That was the flagship car. Is another that, that's also the reason why, kind of like the Z06 is it gets more of a praise than the Z01 because the Z06 pretty much held its own. It had a chance to grow on the people. Versus the Z01 came at the, the last few months of the year with a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty thousand dollar price tag. So at that point it was pretty much non-existent. So the LT5, General Motors dropped the ball on the LT5 and the Z01. They simply released this car too late. They gave it to us too late, bro. It's, this car should have came out in 16 or 17, right behind the Z06. If they would have did it like that, Stingray, Z06, Z01. That's the order that it should have been. General Motors released the C701 at the end of the C7 run, which is 2019. 2020 was the C8 Corvette. So, 2015, we got the um, Z06. So, it will only be right that the Z01 should have came in 2017 or 16, to be fair. That would have gave the Z01 time to end the C7 production with a bang. Because if you go back, the C601 came in 2009. So from 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, the C601 went on a four year reign of terror. Like the C601 is hands down one of the most, had one of the most insane runs of any other production Corvette, bro. Just four years of absolute terror, like causing havoc on the streets. like. The C601 shook up the entire car community. It made Lamborghini step it up, Ford, Porsche. It made everybody step their game up, bro. Like, the C601 is literally what started the muscle car war. Like, everybody had to step their shit up because the C601 was that much of a problem when it came out. But, back to the matter at hands, man. It's like the C701 didn't get a chance. It didn't have a fighting chance at all. Like, <clears throat> it just didn't have a chance, bro. So, that really put all the shine on the Z06. Like I said in part one, the Z06 ran from 2015 all the way to 19. The Z06 got all the shine and all the glory, all the praise. So, really, it was kind of like the Z06 was the flagship car of the c7 brand if you want to be honest they can say the zero one is a flagship car all day long but it really didn't get a chance 
to put the LT5 to use like we like we wanted it to. It didn't really get a chance to spread its wings and fly, unlike the Z06, which ran from 16 to 19. So the ZR1 got the short end of the stick, man. And we just being honest. So like General Motors, y'all dropped the ball with this, bro. Y'all gave us this car too late. This car should have came in 16 or 17, or at least 18. But y'all gave us this car at the end of 19. The zero one one got the short end of the stick, man. Long live the zero one. one Yeah, we're talking about American performance. As far as American performance goes, we give credit when due. Dodge is doing their thing, man. They killing it with the SRT products. Ford definitely stepped up with the Shelby's, the GT500, GT350. The GT500 Super Snake was an amazing work of art. The Ford GT also was a work of art. But as far as the king goes, ZR1 is the king, man. And this don't have nothing to do with speed. This thing got speed is not the only factor that plays a part in why the ZR1 is the king. The C7 ZR1 dethroned the C6 ZR1. And when the C8 ZR1 come out, we're going to see how that go. But as of right now, C7 ZR1 is still king, respectfully.